Okay, this is just about the easiest mousetrap that I've figured out how to make with this rolling log method. All it is is an inch and a quarter PVC with caps on each end. You can see it spins freely. I've got bolts that go on each side. They're only one inch bolts. You can see they just take it off, comes off like that. Very simple. Put it back on. It's not easy to do with one hand, but I'm going to try. There he is, just like that. Now on this one, what I did is I leave this under the eaves of the house so when it rains, Mother Nature keeps the bucket filled with water. But if you just let it rain and rain and rain into this thing, water would come up and submerge this thing. So what I've done is I've drilled drain holes eight inches up from the bottom of the bucket. That leaves enough room here for the guys to not touch the bottom and they can't jump out. So if it rained a real gully washer, it would not interfere with the uh, roller on the top. So here's the materials required. Not too sophisticated here. I may have misspoke earlier saying that these bolts were one inch. They're actually three quarter. You can get by with an inch, but these just happen to be three quarter. Um, if you look over here, the beauty of using a short one is it just comes out like this and you can put it back in. If it's too awfully long, it's going to be, you really have to contort the bucket to get it out. But, um, inch and a quarter for the caps, since we are using inch and a quarter pipe, three quarter inch by quarter inch. Again, quarter inch flats, quarter inch nut. And you're in business. Okay, now we're going to drill the end caps, pivot points. Now you want to try and get it fairly centered on there. It's not critical if it's perfectly centered. If it's not perfectly centered, it'll wobble a little bit, and that's okay. Because by being off center, there will be a a balance point where it comes down and settles. If it's perfectly balanced, then it'll be a little more squirrely. It'll rotate better, but if a mouse were to put his foot on there and it seemed unstable, he's less apt to jump onto the thing. So by having a little off center, the heavy part will go to the bottom. That way when he goes to mount this thing, it's not gonna just slide out from under him. So he'll get out there, he's committed, and whoops, goes for a swim. So, you just try and get it close. It's not, not rocket science. Lean it out a little to make sure it's nice and free.
Now this is our main roller. This is eight and a half inches long, inch and a quarter pipe. And you're not going to glue it. You're just going to stick it on and you're going to fine tune it when you put it into the bolts on each end because you don't want them sticking out so far that they're rubbing on the end. And you don't want them so far in that they, they fall off the ends of the little bolts. So that's what we have so far. Okay, so the bucket's ready to receive the roller. Everybody's loose on both ends still. We stick it in one end and the other. And it seems to roll fairly well. I can tighten, I can seat the in there a little better. You can see it has play on each end that way but not enough to fall off, so you can see the wobble in there, that's just fine. So we filled it with water to about here, about a half inch below the overflow lines. And one thing I want to mention, this thing does warp when you lift it up with water, and there's a good chance that the roller will fall off, but it's not going to be any big deal, because you're going to set it back down, and once you set it back down on the ground, everybody's back to normal. Nice and round and secure. So what we're going to do is good old peanut butter. Least expensive. Bottom of the line is all you need. And you're going to smear it in the middle so you're going to make these little bastards work for it. If you really want to provide a buffet for these little critters, you can always take some seeds, sunflower seeds, whatever variety of seeds, and embed them in this peanut butter. And maybe cast a few seeds around the ground just to lure them in. So, take it to your favorite spot where you know those things frequent. And wait. One of the areas that these little rodents love to frequent is underneath the hood of my dump truck here. They climb in there and they love to build nests. So I've placed this down here. Hopefully it'll draw them out of there with the smell of peanut butter and we can take care of it. There's, surely there's somebody living in there right now, so I'm going to try and get him. Uh, but uh, you can see he's just walking on up the plank along the edge over here and boom, swan dive into the water. Now if you're an animal lover and this offends you, please spare me the trouble of, of uh, debating whether or not I should be doing this. These things overrun us. They've been in our kitchen. They've been everywhere. And if you're really hardcore and you really don't want to budge on your position, give me your address. And whatever I catch, I'll be happy to mail it out to your house so you can deal with them. Other than that, we're going to see what happens here. Adios.